Hey yo, hey everyone, Skylinx here, bringing you a video redo. And the reason why I'm saying this is a video redo is because I already did this video. What I want to do is I want to take videos, go back, redo them, fix what I thought was wrong with them, and go on from there. Uh, so we're going to do the first video I did, and that is Generation 1 Tracks. The thing about the video I think that I did wrong when I first did this, it was my first video so I made several mistakes, but I think the biggest is it just wasn't long enough and it just didn't really inform you much about the figure and the actual character too much. So let's talk about Trax. Um, Trax is an Autobot. He is a Corvette Stingray. I forget exactly what year. If you go back to my original review, I'll actually say what year. But yes, he's a Corvette Stingray. Very sexy, very sleek, very muscular. Um, Personality-wise, Trax is very, very vain. He he's truly a great Autobot in the fact that he's a great warrior. He he listens to orders. He's willing to fight for the good cause. The only thing holding him back is that he's vain and he's cocky and he's conceited. Many of the Autobots see this and they try to tell him this and they try to, you know, help him out and he just says that they're jealous and they want to be more like him. This is very evident in that he'd rather be in his sleek, muscular car mode rather than his actual robot mode. That's just to show you how much he loves himself. Yes. I love you, Trax. You're a man. But yes. Um, so Trax is very vain. He, he did get a few episodes to himself. He got making tracks, which he, he was damaged, and he was befriended by Raul. Raul, oh, that's uh, never mind. Okay, so he was befriended by Raul. They went around and they just stopped the uh, Decepticons from creating zombie um, car drones. Um, the second th uh, episode is Autobot Bebop, and that's when he teams up with Raul and Blaster uh, to defeat Soundwave and Starscream. Um, hypnosis manipulation device. So, those were really his only two big episodes. He shows up, but he's more of a background character, but he shows up and he says his two cents every once in a while. Um, this kind of run on that people think that he's actually gay. Uh, that would be kind of cool, but um, the reason why is because his voice is very, very, uh, flamboyant and he likes to talk about himself and I, I can't do the voice but he's very flamboyant in his voice and he, he loves talking about himself he has a friend named Raul and what can I say do I think Trax is gay? I, I don't think Transformers have a preference on sexuality though Prime did date Alita 1 and Silver did fall in love with black arachnia, so I guess it is possible for them to love. So maybe he does have preference towards sexuality. I think the one thing that you guys have to understand is whether he's gay or straight, the only person Trax is in love with is himself. So, there you go. Um, there's one little thing that Trax has. Okay, let's just look at the car mode. The car mode is very beautiful, it's very sexy, it's very sleek. I love the car mode. I'm not much into blue cars, but I, I do think there's color scheme works out. Putting the stickers on is a complete bit because this one flame sticker is actually two stickers and you have to line them up correctly because that comes with light. Um, so his stickers can be kind of bitchy to put on but overall it's not that hard. You just have to have a steady hand like me. Um, but it, it's a very nice car mode. The only problem I could say I have with this is if you look inside there it's like a clear screen and there's nothing inside there, and even more so, it's clear hair, and then it's black hair. What? That's like random, black and then clear. But whatever. Um, so Trax actually has three modes. Whether or not he's a triple changer is up to debate. But his second mode is, if you loosen up the back here, take out this section here, and take out this section here, and then flip these wings out, And then get his back laser cannon and snap that bad boy on there. And his jet mode, which basically looks like his car mode with wings and huge rocket launchers. I really don't care about this mode. 
it's a nice little add-on, but it's nothing special. But, <clears throat> as we're here, we might as well transform them. Uh, we're halfway through. From here, just take this section here, bring it down like that, spin it around. The feet are here, just grab onto the headlights and bring them down like so. There we go. We're doing good. And bring these hands down. Bring this back head part right there. And bring the wings up. You can adjust his arms accordingly. Posability. He doesn't have much posability um, or articulation. His legs don't move at all. They're, they're, they're fixed there, like most of the Generation 1 figures. His arms, though, can move in and out here, up and down, and they can bend at the elbow. So that's pretty nice. It allows you to do some posing. Um, his gun is massively huge, and he has such a small hand, so that it actually has to slide on. He doesn't actually hold it. It just slides around on his hand. So let's take an overall look at him. Okay. Um... I think his car mode looks better. I love Trax. He's one of my favorite of the car uh, bots. I think Jazz is the only one I like more than him. But I, I honestly think his car mode looks better than his robot mode. I'm not saying his robot mode looks bad. I think the only thing I have to say about that I don't like is it's very skinny. That and this rocket launcher section is very, very loose. But yes. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Jazz's. Uh, not Jazz's. Wow. Let's talk about Trax weapons in it. Here's his... Hold on one sec. Let me just prop him up like that. And, okay, let's talk about his um, weapons. He does have his ion cannon and his laser cannon, which is his rifle. And he has these missile launchers up here, which can serve as two things. Uh, they can either uh, serve as heat-seeking missiles, or they can actually create black matter, or a um, a matter similar to the black matter. And what it does, and this was in an episode when I believe there was time portals and pirates came in, he jumped on and he shot black matter out, which blinds them and paralyzes them, allowing him to uh, take them out. So it, it basically confuses and blinds enemies, so he just shoots those out. Uh, tracks in car mode, I forgot to say this, but I believe I said it in my first review, might as well say it now. Um, he can reach up to speeds of 280 miles per hour without even breaking a freaking sweat, so he, he, he's one of the past that he has on. Um, so yeah, that's about all you can say about tracks. So figure-wise, I think the missiles don't fire. I don't think any of the commemorative reissues missiles fire, but the color scheme works well. Um, the car mode looks beautiful. The second flight mode, it's okay. I'm not going to complain about it. it. It's a nice little add-on. Not like it's taking anything away from the figure. And the robot mode looks nice. It, it looks flat, but it, it looks nice. It's okay. I'll go with it. Um, so overall, should I, you pick up this figure? Well, uh, eBay, his G1 form is going for about $40. If you go on eBay, you can also get the commemorative reissue for about $90. And if you're one of the people that don't like to go on eBay and only use Amazon or Overstock or something like that, if you go to Amazon, he's worth about, like, $30-ish for the commemorative reissue. Definitely get the reissue, um, because it's the exact same thing as the original. Same quality, same metal, same plastic pieces, everything. So, can't go wrong. Just be careful with the stickers, because you will screw up. I'm not going to lie, you will screw up. I'm telling you in advance, it's going to happen. But yes, anyways, it's enough for the tracks. Um, this video actually ran longer, and I actually got some more information out. This was just a tre test redo, so I will be doing probably four or five redo videos, okay? So anyways, this is Skylines. Oh, by the way, I'm going to post them all out within like one day, because it's not like it's worth spending a week doing these redos. I'll just take them and post them all in one day, okay? This is Skyline saying peace out for now.